You know, I think my favorite topic to talk about uh, with you guys is to show the power of the Zoom platform integration into the Microsoft ecosystem. So let's look at some of the cool stuff that I've been playing with, uh, showcasing even further some Microsoft and Zoom integrations. I've done a ton of videos on this topic in the past, but here's some new stuff that came out with Zoom and Microsoft that I thought was cool. So take a look. Let's go to my, my Zoom client here. So here's a cool little integration that came out recently. Uh, and uh, I just thought it was a really cool way to showcase the integration between Zoom and Microsoft. And it's pretty simple, but it's very effective because it saves you a ton of clicks switching between clients. Let's look at my calendar here. So right here's a Teams meeting. You can see that it's titled Teams meeting, but let's, so let's just open it up and prove that it's a Teams meeting. You can see it right here. It says Microsoft Teams and the join button. But that would take me opening up the calendar invite to join the meeting. I don't want to do that. I just want one click to join the meeting and we can watch this. So I could open it up. Like I just showed you, I could right click on it and join it from here, but that's two clicks. I just want one click on the right side. I have the calendar sidebar open and I do this all the time. I like to see all my meetings all the time so I can prepare for them in order to do that. Just click this really this icon right here that says that the calendar side panel can open up. So I have it clicked. If I don't click it, it's a full screen. So I click it and it puts all my meetings for the day right here. It is now 10.29. You can see with this red line, it's middle of the meeting. It's 10.30, the meeting started at 10. But I just wanna click on it with one click. Look at the right side. I can now join this meeting from one click. Join a Microsoft Teams meeting from my Zoom client. That's cool, watch. So now with one click, it's launched the pre-meeting window from Microsoft Teams. Now I can pick my audio or my video, my devices. Now I can just join this meeting right from Teams, even though I launched this meeting right from Zoom. So now I've launched this Microsoft Teams meeting directly from the Zoom client, saving me time from switching from Zoom to Microsoft Teams to join various meetings. I can literally join a Microsoft Teams meeting right from the Zoom client. And the reverse is true as well. I can join Zoom meetings directly from the Microsoft Teams client. Let's take a look. So let's just create a quick Zoom meeting right from Microsoft Teams. And just we'll invite an external participant here to be in the meeting and I'll just hit save. Now watch what happens from 10 to 12. I just created this meeting. It is a zoom meeting. I just created the zoom meeting inside of Microsoft teams using the new zoom app. You can see it's right on my calendar from 10 to 12 zoom and teams and outlook can now all use the same calendar. So let's go to my teams calendar right here is that zoom meeting 10 to 12. Look what's there. There's a join button there. I'm going to join a Zoom meeting directly from Microsoft Teams with one mouse click. So, so now you can see I'm in the Zoom meeting. I literally created this Zoom meeting from Microsoft Teams. I joined the Zoom meeting from Microsoft Teams. I could join this meeting from Zoom. I could join this meeting from Outlook. There's a full calendar integration between Zoom and Microsoft Teams meetings. And that makes it a lot better for users so they don't have to switch applications all the time. It's 10 o'clock, I can join a Zoom meeting, I can join a Teams meeting, and it doesn't matter what Microsoft or Zoom app I'm in, I can join any meeting from any client from one mouse click. That's pretty cool. Let's go to my mail. For example, if I wanted to check my email inside of the Zoom client, so I don't have to toggle back and forth between Zoom and Outlook, I can really just do it right from my Zoom client. Reply to emails, forward emails, read emails. I can do that and I can synchronize multiple email accounts to my one Zoom client. This one, it's my, my Gmail account, but let's connect a, a Microsoft account. Again, drop this menu down, we'll hit add account, and you can see we could add this Microsoft account. So I'm gonna to go to Office 365, hit next, and I'm gonna click everything in here and then hit next and authorize. Now I've connected my Microsoft and Google accounts both to my Zoom client. So here, my Microsoft account is connected through my email. I can check my Google mail and I can check my Microsoft mail all from one client. Zoom. All right, so let's mix a little AI companion in. AI companion obviously is the companion part of the AI woven within the Zoom platform. Let's try some cool stuff integrated with Microsoft using AI companion. And to get the AI companion, just click the AI companion button on the top right hand side. And now it shows me all the stuff that I can do with AI companion. And it depends on what context I'm in. For example, I'm in the email tab right here. It's gonna give me some suggestions for just email questions. So for example, let's review some emails that I haven't read. What if I have a whole bunch of emails and I'm like, hey, just give me a summary of all the emails I haven't read. Just ask AI Companion. 
So just summarize all my unread emails. So in this example, it's a test example. So I only have two unread emails. So my first email says my database capacity is exceeded. I probably should need to go to buy some more, some more capacity. Second is again, I'm file ex capacity exceeded. So let's just go and check and see if it's right. You can clearly see it's files out of capacity. Okay, that's great. Uh, what's the second one? Uh, out of database capacity as well. So AI Companion basically summarized those two emails, but now I've just saved a whole bunch of time because I didn't have to read those emails. And the cool thing is those emails are stored in Exchange, right? This is a Microsoft Office email account. So I can just use AI Companion to summarize all those unread me messages. Even though I'm in the Zoom client, AI Companion can read those emails because I just configured it to do so. All right, so that's just a quick example of email. Let's just go to calendar. Imagine you're sitting down to your desk for the first time throughout the day, and maybe you don't wanna look at your calendar. Maybe you just say, hey, AI Companion, what meetings do I have today? Just ask it. Can you summarize my meetings today? And AI Companion is gonna to go to your calendar and summarize all the meetings you have. So what do we have today? Yeah, we have uh, we have an office integration status meeting, we have a coexist meeting, and Patrick has a Zoom meeting. And it basically summarized who's invited to that meeting and what that meeting is about. I didn't have to go to my calendar to do it. I can literally just ask AI Companion to summarize what I have to do. So how do I prepare for the next meeting? I could obviously go into the meeting and, and look at the chats from the last time we met and maybe maybe review the recordings of the last time we met or, or look at some documents that were shared. But what if I could just have AI Companion help me prepare for my next meeting? Just ask it to prepare for my next meeting. So here it is. My next meeting is the Microsoft Coexist status meeting. And here are some updates that we had since the last meeting. We had a scheduled reoccurring meeting. We had some uh, subsequent uh, cancels. Uh, we had some meetings that were subsequently canceled, and but we didn't have any new projects or our stuff coming up. But th so there's some unresolved things that we need to mention in the context. So there's some tasks determined with the meeting. There's the topics that we can talk about for the meeting. And AI Companion did all this even though it's a Zoom AI companion, remember we have access to my Microsoft calendar. So it's went and read all those calendar updates as well as meeting updates, came up with some tasks and topics that we could talk about for this meeting. AI Companion really just saved me a ton of work by developing all this stuff for me from a Microsoft calendar. So those are some cool meeting examples of the Microsoft and Zoom integration, some cool email examples of the Microsoft and Zoom integration, uh, calendar obviously examples of the Microsoft and Zoom integration. Let's go a step further. Let's go into document integration. So we've used AI Companion to summarize emails. We've used AI Companion to uh, summarize our calendar events, even though those are a Microsoft Exchange. Let's do some Microsoft Office 365 stuff with AI Companion. So we're gonna create a fake document. We're just gonna create a, a Word document with a bunch of stuff in it. And, and then we can go from there and, and show you the power of what AI Companion can do. So let's just use Copilot to create that document. So let's create a, a blog post on elephants. All right, so let's copy this blog post into a Word document. Here's my Word document, paste. All right, so now we're gonna just gonna save this file. It's also auto saving, but I'm just gonna save it. And it's called AI Companion Test. It's in my OneDrive. So let's look at the AI Companion integration with OneDrive. So we're gonna go back to Zoom. Remember, AI Companion is on the right side panel because we turned that on earlier. So let's see what the AI Companion and the Microsoft OneDrive integration can do. On the bottom side here, you're gonna see a little attached file. So let's attach that file we just created. Now we can connect our OneDrive integration into our Zoom client. Watch this, connect to OneDrive. So here's our here's our Microsoft uh, integration. We can just take, pick Office 365 here, hit next, and we're gonna pick everything. We are going to authorize, and now it's gonna integrate our Zoom in your account with AI Companion. Blah, 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 pretend I'm not doing this for the first time. <laughs> it just usually pops up. All right, so now it says successfully integrated with AI Companion. So now we've successfully integrated our Microsoft account with AI Companion. So here's the Word document we created with a bunch of elephant stuff that Copilot uh, developed for us. I think you get the point. It's just about a bunch of elephant stuff. And now let's use AI Companion to summarize this document. In the last step, we connected OneDrive to AI Companion. So let's just open up that document from AI Companion. And there it is, AI Companion test. Select it. And basically it's just summarize that entire document inside of a paragraph. Look, it says it covers topics such as elephant species and their habitats and physical characteristics. Now you can see the power really of connecting AI Companion to OneDrive. It immediately summarizes that document without me having to open it up and reading it myself. And by the way, they don't just have to be Microsoft Office 365 documents. They could be PDF files that are stored in my OneDrive account. Watch this. We'll go to OneDrive. I have a cool little recipe for muscle feeding recipes in case you wanted to eat healthier. Let's just upload that. And now it goes and analyzes that full PDF and gives you a summary as well. 
And now a full summary of all the cool recipes that are in the PDF file. So if you want to go in there and, and check out some of the recipes, just open the PDF file and you can go right there. But there's a cool way to really save a ton of time with AI Companion and Microsoft Office 365 and OneDrive integration. This all works with Google as well. This is just a Microsoft video. All right, so those are just some cool examples of some of the latest uh, Microsoft and Zoom integrations that Zoom and Microsoft have. I find these invaluable because most of the customers that I speak with that are Zoom customers are also Microsoft customers. So you're living inside the Zoom client inside of a Microsoft ecosystem. So why not make all those workflows just work better together? And Zoom's doing a pretty good job of making this integration even more seamless every day. And I'm sure in the months to come, there's gonna be a lot more stuff to come out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And yes, I'm freezing today. I'm wearing a sweater. It's like 18 degrees here. Uh, and uh, I'm not used to that level of cold anymore. I grew up in Colorado and I was used to it at one point, but now that I'm 54 and I've lived in the South for 17 years, uh, 18 degrees is frigid to me. Anyway, you don't care. I'm Patrick Kelly, the Tattooed Nerd. Have a great day.